What's up everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. As we continue our coverage for Avengers Endgame, I wanted to compare something really interesting between Infinity War and Endgame, that being the gauntlets that were introduced respectively in each movie. The Infinity Gauntlet constructed by Thanos on Ned Valir, and the Infinity Gauntlet constructed by Tony Stark and his nanotechnology. Mainly though, I wanted to talk about why the gauntlet constructed by Eitri the Dwarf is far more powerful than the Infinity Gauntlet constructed by Tony Stark, and at the same time, why Thanos was able to use the Infinity Stones while wielding the Infinity Gauntlet constructed by E-Tree and seemingly not when he used the Stark Gauntlet. Let's get into it. First, let's discuss the new Tony Stark Gauntlet. The gauntlet constructed by Tony Stark in Avengers Endgame is made out of the same material as his own Iron Man armor. Therefore, why Tony Stark was able to use the Infinity Stones with his own Mark 85 armor while Thanos still had the gauntlet on and therefore why Tony Stark was able to use the stones without having the gauntlet. We also see in Endgame that Tony Stark's gauntlet is capable of changing size. It's very clear that the gauntlet constructed by Tony is made using the same nanobots that he used in his Mark 50 and Mark 85 armor, and that that alone is enough to contain the power of the Infinity Stones. However, when someone actually puts on this gauntlet, the power of the stones instantly overwhelms them, while on the other hand, the gauntlet constructed by Eitri and used by Thanos did not overwhelm Thanos when he had all of the stones in his possession. We see unlike Thor, the Infinity Gauntlet, even with all six of the stones in Infinity War, does not affect Thanos until he actually snaps his fingers. Yes, the power still surges through his veins, but it doesn't actually harm Thanos himself until after the snap. This does have a lot to do with the durability of Thanos himself, as he's more durable than the Hulk, but still, the power of Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet contains the stones far more effectively than Stark's Gauntlet does. So why is this? The answer is is actually really simple. It's the metal that the original Infinity Gauntlet that Thanos uses is constructed by. The metal that Eitri the Dwarf used to construct the Infinity Gauntlet is known as Uru. The reason Uru is able to contain the power of the Infinity Stones is because it actually absorbs and redistributes energy. What makes Uru so dangerous is it's extremely effective at absorbing magical properties, and properties similar to that of the Infinity Stone. It is able to somewhat withhold that energy and then redistribute it as it pleases, something that clearly the Stark Infinity Gauntlet is not capable of. In Avengers Endgame, we never actually see anyone use the Infinity Gauntlet, or rather the Stark Gauntlet, for anything other than to snap their fingers. So it's actually unclear at this point if they're able to actually tap into the power of the Infinity Stones like the Thanos Gauntlet does. Because of course, the Thanos Gauntlet was designed not only for Thanos to snap his fingers, but for another purpose as well. Thanos wanted to be able to actually use the Infinity Stones and use them individually without damaging himself. In Endgame, we never never actually see any of the Avengers, or Thanos for that matter, use the Stark Gauntlet or any of the stones individually. In fact, the only time that Thanos uses an individual stone in Avengers Endgame is when he pulls the Power Stone out of the Gauntlet and punches Captain Marvel. He doesn't actually use the power of the Gauntlet itself to overwhelm Carol Danvers. This leads me to believe that although it might not be impossible, it's far more difficult to tap into the power of the Infinity Stones when you're wearing the Stark Gauntlet. Of course, the snap is still possible, but using the stones individually individually like Thanos does in Infinity War is likely a far more difficult task. Because of course, Uru was designed not only to snap the fingers, but to use the Infinity Stones because of its magical properties and its ability to absorb its power, and then of course redistribute it. Stormbreaker, Thor's new axe, is also made of this Uru metal, which is another major reason why it was able to overpower the Infinity Gauntlet in Infinity War with all six stones placed within it. It wasn't actually going head to head with the Infinity Gauntlet, it was absorbed absorbing the energy, as that is Uru's main ability in the MCU. According to the official MCU wiki, this is what it says about the Uru metal and its main ability. Uru is very absorption of energy, especially magic. It retains enchantments well and it is often used in magic. Its ability to redirect and enhance energy, especially magic, is useful and highly sought after in the MCU. But that is just my breakdown on why Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet is far more powerful than the Infinity Gauntlet constructed by Tony Stark and his nanotechnology. Of course, I believe if Tony Stark had access to Uru, he would have created a gauntlet of equal or perhaps even greater power. But again, because of this magical Uru metal, the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet is far superior than the Stark. 
In the end though, it ultimately doesn't even really matter, as Tony Stark was still able to snap his fingers and get rid of Thanos and his entire army. But I want to hear your thoughts on this breakdown in the comments down below, and in the end, which Infinity Gauntlet do you find to be more powerful? Again, be sure to check out the Avengers Endgame merch page as the massive sale continues, with deals from 30 to 60% off, using my link in the description down below. Again guys, don't forget to enter the Infinity War Hot Toys figure giveaway. Instead of just a Thanos figure, you'll be able to select from various other figures. The rules for that giveaway are as follow. Like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know which Infinity Stone you find to be the most powerful. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.